As requested in this video, I'm going to show the setup if you would like to connect your Samsung S24 Ultra to a V8 Live sound card. Actually, I also have inquiries how to connect their S22 or Samsung S22 Ultra to a V8 Live sound card. I do believe that if the Samsung S24 Ultra works in this kind of setup right now that I'll be showing you, and since I've already uh, tested uh, uh, same setup using an S20 Ultra. So if they both work, then it should work also this kind of setup that I'm about to show you using your S22 Ultra. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things, cables I will be needing in this setup. First of all, this is the V8 Live sound card. This is the Samsung S24 Ultra. As I've mentioned earlier, if you have Samsung S20 or, or S22 or S21, I believe the setup would be uh, the same. Over here, as you noticed, I've already opened the built-in camera of this uh, Samsung S24 Ultra. And this uh, microphone here, this is a Beam 800 condenser uh, microphone. And this is a corded one. And over here, this is going to be the source of my uh, background music. And I will be uh, using in the setup, I'll be using this one here. So this is micro USB to USB A. This normally comes when you buy or get this V8 live sound card. So again, micro USB to USB type A. I will also be using uh, this USB uh, A to USB C. There you go. And uh, this one here, this is an earphone for monitoring. And this one over here, this one is USB-C on this end. And over here, there, there is USB-A port on here and make sure there is a camera uh, icon on here. So uh, maybe you can buy the one that has a camera icon right there and then uh, make sure there is a USB-C at least uh, so that you can charge your devices while you're doing your streaming or recording. And this one here, this is just a portable uh, charger or power bank. And uh, if you do not have a power bank, then you can use, uh, you can use, uh, you know, the block to charge your devices and you connect this one here. So this is USB-A to USB-C. I'm going to show you how to use this uh, in a bit. Okay, and now let's uh, start the connections. First, let's connect this Samsung S24 Ultra to the V8 Live sound card. And for that, let's use the micro USB to USB type A. So from here, from this V8 Live sound card, we will connect the micro USB to the one for charging. Okay, and now the other end, we will connect to this uh, adapter. So this, uh, sometimes it's called uh, this is called uh, sometimes a USB-C OTG adapter, or I call this one USB-C camera adapter because it's USB-C on the end and then there's camera icon on this end. So anyway, whatever is the name for that, then just make sure there's USB port on here with a camera icon on top of that, then that should be the one. Okay, and of course the other end, the USB-A will connect to this uh, here, to the one that that's, uh, has a camera icon. Okay, and from here, we will connect this one to here. And now, the reason why I want to use a portable charger, as I mentioned earlier, so that you don't have to worry of uh, uh, going low battery while uh, you're doing your streaming or recording. And actually, this setup alone is already okay without using a portable charger, but I just wanted to show you that this is a good setup so that, uh, as I said, you don't have to worry of, uh, of going low battery while in the middle of uh, recording or streaming. And this is USB-A to C. USB-A goes to here, to the portable uh, charger. And then the other end, we will connect to here. So the USB-C on this uh, adapter. There you go. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, charging this device. And also, it uh, should be charging also this device over here. As you can see, it's a uh, red. That means you're charging both. You're charging both your phone as well as your V8 live sound card. Okay, and now let's connect this uh, earphone to monitor the audio. Okay, so from here, I am going to connect it to here to the one that says earphone. And finally, let's connect this Beam 800 condenser microphone. And there is only one port here for the condenser microphone and it's right there. 
So that's where we will be connecting it. And now let's double check. Let's make sure all the cables are plugged in properly. There you go. Now we're all set. And now to connect to the source of your background music, might as well connect them wirelessly because this device has a Bluetooth feature. So that means you can, you can connect a source of uh, your music wirelessly using Bluetooth. Very simple, go to the settings of that uh, device and turn on Bluetooth. And from on the list here, you should be able to see V8 uh, sound card. If it is your first time to, to uh, pair them, it should show up at the bottom right there. And this setup right now, as you notice, it says here V8 uh, sound card is connected. So it's now connected, which means if I'm going to play a YouTube karaoke song from here, it should now be connected to this V8 sound card wirelessly. Okay, let's go back now to YouTube app. From here, I'm going to start recording now from this device over here, Samsung S24 Ultra, so that I can share to you also the actual recorded audio from this device. And uh, by the way, before you even start, make sure your record volume knob here is on high. Otherwise, your audio output on this recording will be low as well. Uh, if it's zero over here, then that means there is no audio on your recordings. Again, record volume knob has to be on high. Uh, maybe I'm just going to set it to the max. There you go. I'm going to start recording now from here. Soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. And from here, whatever you are hearing, this is now the recorded audio from this uh, device, Samsung S24 Ultra. If you notice, when I start recording, when I top record over here, it shows something about USB recording. That is an indication that your V8 sound card is connected to the the Samsung or whatever Android you are using. If it doesn't show like that, then I presume that what you are recording is you're only using the built-in microphone of this device. And even if you press or even if you try recording uh, built-in sound effects on here, it will not work. So that means it could either be uh, the adapter you're using is not the right one, or maybe uh, it's not plugged in properly. So make sure to review all those. And sometimes the adapter has to be compatible to the device that you are using. And by the way, this adapter that I'm using, this is not from the Apple store. This is just from the Amazon. And as I said, just find something USB on one end. And then on the other end, a USB A port that has a camera icon on top of that. I hope that should work also. And if, uh, if it shows, let's say, what devices it's compatible with, then make sure to pick the one that is compatible to the device that you are using. Okay, and uh, now uh, from here, my voice has no effects. Uh, that is because uh, my echo here is still at zero. Now, if I'm going to add effects, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, sound check, sound check, testing one, two. Okay, I'm just gonna set it back to zero. And by the way, my mic volume here, I'm just gonna set it to maybe two o'clock. There you go. Okay, and uh, and from here, as I mentioned earlier, record volume knob is very, very important. So I'm setting it to the max right now. And for the treble and the bass, it's really up to you how much bass you wanted to use. If your voice is thin, then you might want to add some more bass to your voice. If your voice is maybe deep, then maybe you want to add some treble to your voice. So it's really up to you. Maybe I'm just going just gonna to set my bass to 2 o'clock. And then my treble, I'll set it to maybe, maybe 11 o'clock. There you go. And uh, from here, pretty much uh, the preset sound effects here should be recorded as well. If I'm going to press a sum from here, it should be recorded also on this uh, Samsung uh, device. And you should be able to hear that as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, tap a plus. Okay. And uh, maybe minion. <laughs> Okay, and maybe a cold field. So anyway, what I'm trying to uh, show you that it does work uh, if you are recording or let's say you're doing some streaming, then this sound effects should work as well using this adapter and this kind of setup right now. And for maybe for the voice changer here, let's uh, check this uh, pitch band over here. Hey, soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Soundtrack testing one, two. And this magic soundtrack testing. One, two. Okay, as you notice, it does, uh, it does work for voice changer. Pretty much all the effects here should work. 
uh, in this kind of setup using this kind of uh, adapter. And uh, monitor here, the monitor volume, this is just for you how loud you want it to hear. But it does not mean that if it's loud over here, your recorded audio output will be loud as well. So it doesn't go like that. The record volume knob here, this is the level of your audio output over there. So the monitor here, even if this one is at zero, it still depends on your record volume knob over here, the audio output from this device over there. And uh, pretty much that's it. And this uh, background music over here to control the volume is going to be here from the music volume knob as well as the volume of this uh, device. Let's maybe play this music. Let's check how loud it is. Okay, it's very loud. So again, as I mentioned, you can control it from here. So let's play it and then we can lower it from here. There you go. Or we can, or we can increase that. Okay, there you go. And then, okay, very loud. And then we can also lower it from here. So it's, it's up to you if you want to control the volume from this device itself or from the music volume over here. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, if you want it lower, then I will control it from here. Or if, if I want it up, then it's like that. Okay, and the dodge uh, feature here, uh, that's uh, very uh, common to all the other uh, sound cards. This is just uh, to lower the background music you're playing as you talk, and then it goes up when you stop talking. Okay, let's play this one. And then let's hit the dodge over here. So there you go, as I am talking, it's not as loud uh, this uh, background music that I am playing when I stop talking. There you go. So anyway, that is the use of the Dutch feature over here. Maybe this is good for some DJ or maybe uh, podcasting, something like that. Maybe you can use that feature over there. Okay. And uh, so from here, maybe let me show you a quick uh, sample recording a song. Uh, if you will be singing to your viewers or listeners, or maybe if you want to record a song, uh, maybe a song cover. Okay. Let's uh, do, uh, okay, let me do a short recording sample. And from here, I should add effects to my voice, sound check, testing one, two, maybe from there. Okay, okay I want the, my instrument to be more higher. There you go, let's do it. Okay, sound check, testing one, two. Okay, there you go. So anyway, that should be your audio output if you will be uh, using this uh, kind of a setup. So there you go. As you notice, it does work. And uh, I hope this gives you an idea how to connect your Samsung S24 Ultra or it could be S20 Ultra or 22 or 21 Ultra in this kind of setup using this kind of adapter. And if you want to use a portable charger, of course, uh, that is actually good. And for me, in my opinion, it's really, really good to connect this one to a portable charger so that uh, you don't have to worry of uh, going low battery in the middle of recording or maybe maybe podcasting or streaming. Okay, let me just uh, show you quickly that it works without using this, uh, this power bank. Okay, so from here, I'm going to unplug this power bank from here. As you noticed, I've already unplugged this power bank over here and yet I can still continue recording. And if you are doing streaming, you should be able to do the same thing. The only catch is this V8 Live Sound Card uses the, the power or the battery of your device if you don't connect it to a power bank. So which means it could drain your, your device quicker without using a power bank. And that is all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you now an idea that yes, you are able to connect your Samsung S24 Ultra to a V8 Live sound card using this kind of adapter. And as I said, using this power bank would be a good one to be connected as well while you're doing your streaming or recording. Thank you guys so for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. 
keep safe and until next time.